I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The band is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Vault Hunters And um, as you can see, things are a bit different I look... Hmm I look different, um, and that is thanks to a little mod called More Player Models by Nopez. Um, I have to add that because, well, there's so many player model mods at this point, and a lot of them have the same name. But what this uh, allows me to do is there's been a recent update to it that allows you to add your own mo your own models. And this model here, a lot of the models, like the ears, the cape, and the grimoire off to my side, those are from a little uh, add-on, which I would go show you, but it would take such a long time to actually go and do all that. Um, so, in other words, I do have like a really cool skin setup for this um the skin itself I made using I literally just everyone knows Rimuru like if you're an anime fan and you're an isekai fan you have to know who Rimuru is like there's no way you don't oh yeah I also started the interior of the house but anyway the skin is my head from my other skin that you guys saw with some eyes that I put on it then the Rimuru torso cause well Rimuru is one of the best characters and of course a cape from that from the uh, more player models and then some elf ears and some demon horns to show well pointed e ears not exactly Paper walls, not exactly. De um, elf ears. Uh, so in other words, I I I I am gonna be from now on the great demon lord of this server, and I may be a bit short, but that does not matter. Um, so actually, let me go ahead and give you guys a real quick tour. Um, I decided to base this house off of Japanese style and I'm a massive weeb so of course I would yeah I'm a massive weeb so of course I would base it off of something like that um, so you come into this front gate here um, bamboo fencing because I have plenty of it um, bamboo fencing here and then paper lanterns which are very breakable uh, these don't actually turn off and then a mailbox bamboo of course um, and then I brought the doorway down a bit just so that it could work with what I had planned um, shoji doors because they're shoji doors and then a lot of like Japanese homes I've seen uh, not just in anime, but like just general architecture from um, books I read and whatnot. They'll have this little indent here, which is really cool. I like the idea of it. Um, but they would like set their shoes on one side and then wear slippers into their house. Um, and then I have these bamboo uh, mat blocks to be as the tatami mats. And then here, uh, just a little sit down, um, bookshelves, or shelves, to hold the books for, um, which I'm going to put this on this, uh, to hold just little items I get, like things I'm collecting, um, special things, like these books, you only get one of those. And then over here is my bed, and then the workroom, 
and then down here which is where you guys saw me mining I'm gonna turn this into the storage room because I don't want to ruin the aesthetic of the above area I want to keep it as Japan as possible or ornamental as possible not just Japan a lot of Asian style houses had this and then out here is the hot spring bath because you just have to have a bath and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like at nighttime real quick because I have those red lanterns and they make it look amazing um, this little hammock here will allow us to make it night well close enough tonight gotta bake me some potatoes real quick <clears throat> but yeah um, a lot of the light comes from these the light will come through the paper walls um, and like yeah some light comes from these but it's mostly natural light coming from the paper walls um, But out here, this is what it looks like at night. And I absolutely love these red lanterns. Um, Their white form looks horrible. But if you like dye them a different color, they look amazing. They are perfect for just capturing a mood of an area. Like, at night, this bath would probably be like, oh you want to unwind you don't want these harsh colors um, so you have like softer reds and all the other like oranges well orange is more harsh than um, you'd have like the lighter colors the ones that make you feel tired um, if you wanted to unwind and whatnot so this would help you do that like uh, if you w walked into a room and there was a yellow light just shining, that would probably give you, like, it would probably make you jump. Like, not jump, but it would probably, like, not get the blood pumping, but build up excitement, kind of. But with red, you see a red light, most people would think of something more not appropriate for YouTube others would probably think hey it's night time or hey well might think stop of course but who knows um, it's just the point that it's a softer color it's not harsh like a green would be or a white would be Like this gray here, this is more of like a soft color. This white, it pops, so it's more of a harsh color. Um, I think that's right. It's been a while since I've taken art, so you're gonna have to bear with me on that. Anyway, um, see, so yeah, I really like this. I do actually like the bamboo in the background. I didn't at first, but it kind of works. I might actually set it up to where it's all around this area in some way um, as you can see these really don't give off any light they're just for decoration um, but yeah so I have the some campfires under there to give off like a steam type of effect I wanted to get some of the soul sand but I don't have a diamond pick yet I will eventually and then these are literally just some cobblestone stuck into a stone cutter that's simple as that
Uh, I don't really have a plan for today. I might just settle on building the roof. Because that's something I need to do. Um, I might just start work on the underground. Who knows? Um, if we do, I might just start streaming now, which it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't think anyone would come. Um, I actually do want to look up a tutorial, so for now we might actually just go exploring. Um, I do want to see if I can find some more, like, structures or something. I want to see if I can find Lily's house, actually. That'd be cool to find. Um, I also have a texture pack that makes the armor look invisible. So, I don't have to deal with all the armor in the way of me looking fantastic or awesome or anything other than what I want to look like. Of course, this won't work with the modded armors, but most of those look cool anyway. Most. Which, um, actually, I might know how to edit. Give me, actually, just a quick second to check something. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that later. Reminds me more of the actual OBS that I know. Go back to Yemi though. I wish they would show. Hmm. Actually. End. Now I should be able to. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure that out later then. Um, for now, I could try pausing the recording and actually picking up. Oh, yeah, I found this by the way. It's Skystone and I don't want to have to mine all this so it's gonna stay here for now until I get the research for it because of course if I don't have the research for it I can't place it down and I don't want to mine that either because I don't know what that is I will actually bring you guys back once I find something interesting because of course I, I I I need to find something interesting for you guys don't I which I might not even find anything interesting um yeah I will be right back once I find something anything at all Alright, so I guess this counts as somewhat interesting. I found a village. I think. I think it's a village. Oh yeah, it's definitely a village. They have a blacksmith. 
I'm taking this. What? He's not going to use it. At least I doubt he will. Oh, I went quiet again. I just realized. Um, sorry about that. The village. Alright. So. These aren't really as important. They're important, but they're not as important as. Um, I can take you guys with me. They're not as important as they would be in a few other series um, that I could do. Like Dawncraft, that was one series that I was planning on doing. And jumping on those crops right there, that would make villagers dislike me in Dawncraft. Here, it's fine for me to do that. <gasps> I'm going to the nether, boys. Now, I'm going to show you guys why I needed a diamond pick. And I have a portal. It's just requiring one simple thing. Uh, that way. Which, now that I think about it. Waypoints. Hmm. Oh, okay. I was wondering why Hawala went away. <sighs> I need to remember my keybinds. I can get an enchantment table. I have the book. I have the paper. I don't have the leather. Hmm. Well, it looks like cows on the menu tonight, boys. I do actually need to set up a cow farm. That'll be fun. Yeah, I didn't actually travel that far. Just like, I think that's 400 blocks. No, it can't be. There's no way that's 400. It's just 400 meters, though. It does feel kind of like I did travel a long way, though.
Should be... Yep, there's a swamp. I can put this here, and that'll give me an extra slot. Time to get this pickaxe. But first, wait, no, let's get the pickaxe first. Doop, doop, and then I have two left for obsidian. Which potatoes can go in here. And this is why I needed the diamond pickaxe. Which actually, where's a cow? Let's let's get let's get some leather first. I don't want to kill a horse. Stay getting a bad food source either. Um, I just have to be careful not to kill all the cows around here. Yeah, there's a reason I'm not killing that horse though. Horses, they make a horrible death scream and you feel horrible when you kill them. And... Yeah. And, the, and half the time they don't drop leather. So there's that. It's not guaranteed when I could just have a guaranteed noble steed. And I'd rather have the guaranteed noble steed. I thought that was one of my holes that I dug. Honestly, I would not be surprised. Alright, this horse, he's outside the village. There we go, I got my leather. I need more though. Alright, I need to start a cow farm. Like, stat. Where am I going? Home is this way. I think I might have just killed the only two cows near th this village. Hmm. That's fun. That's real fun. Boom. Enchantment table. Done. Alright. Can we get efficient? Oh. Well, what do you know? Efficiency. I just need some type of efficiency on this thing. Any efficiency. Alright. Um, I guess this can also double as our mine. Or the start to our mine.
Red Mint. It's still a 69. Put this on. I will preserve this chest plate for a long, long time. Yeah, that that was meant to be like a stupid joke. I I am I am so sorry for that. Oh, I almost completely forgot I was recording. <laughs> yeah, that that's just something for you all to know. Never forget when you're recording. It can be an absolute disaster. Alright, I got my iron pick. Which, I need to store some things away. Please do not judge my storage for now. It will do until I can get something better. Until I can set this room down here up. can't do that can't do that I cannot do that there is no way in the nine circles mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. give me so some solid solid ground no I cannot do caves like that no way in the nine circles you see there's a little thing called the lassophobia and it's one of the biggest fears I have Vex has arachnophobia. I have thalassophobia. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nope. Such an amazing mod. Oh crap. Oh, there's got to be a spawner somewhere. There is no way there's this many zombies and there isn't a spawner. Up, oh, Skelly.
which She affect me with nauseous. I mean, it would make sense. I just don't know why I wouldn't have nauseous, nausea on. Nausea, whatever people call it. I call it nausea. Cause that's that's what it's that's what it's called. That's the name. That's how it's spelled. I don't care how else you would spell say it. Vex. I just know. I just know he's like one of the people who's getting pissed off by that. There's no way he's not. Oh, I am almost dead. I need the vault stick. Oh, I got a potion of instant healing. That'll come in handy. And no lapis. Hmm. Well, that's fun. There is a way to get down. What's that? Copper. Okay. There is a way to get down there, and I have to take through this. I'd rather go through andesite. Andesite. It's probably okay. I get it. Okay. So Iskal is the one who made this mod pack. You know, um, the Iskal, the 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 the, the famous one. Come on, you know, the one who is on Hermitcraft, that is Cal. Yeah, he, he made this mod pack, meaning anything you see that isn't pronounced right is how he would pronounce it. So Andersite, even though it's Andesite, it's going to be Andersite. And I think that is absolutely ingenious and fantastic. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Okay, I need to stop eating that. Uh, bread. <laughs> Copper. Alright. That is that expedition done. I'm going to keep going down because I still need to get myself. Eh, I have to dig through all this and um, andesite and diorite. Alright, I will actually be right back as soon as I find lapis or as soon as it's time for me to leave. There we go. Uh, deep slate zinc. I can't really use zinc for much right now, though, so. Oh crap, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Ooh. Up. Oh, nope. Run. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna die. Uh. 
So glad I removed Origins. Well, I uh, guess I might as well go ahead and start working on the storage system. Which, I want to build out this area down here first. First off, let's get rid of all this dirt. I don't have any oak, I don't think. I have some oak slabs, but I don't have any oak. Okay. Well, I didn't want to fill this chest up anymore. <clears throat> But seeing as how we don't have space for anything else, I have to. Oh, I might have to end it early, guys. Because, uh, yeah, I'm really starting to feel absolutely horrible. Hold on. I should have some oak saplings. You know what, I'll try to wait for the rain to go away, to end it, because I hate, I hate the rain. I don't like doing outros in the rain. What's my brightness at? It's on bright. That's an oak tree, but I don't want to cut down a tall one like that, they're annoying. Cut down this one because I can get to it. <clears throat> Once I get access, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I hope that uh, me turning my mic off like that is actually cutting it out if not I am really sorry I'll try to make it more um, less painful on the ears if so Actually, we should probably keep this here temporarily. Okay. <clears throat> so. What do we have for stone brick types? Hmm. cobblestone brick actually we combine stone brick to be with those and then alright I have a plan okay so I need all my cobble That 
for me to um let's see and decide Let's take some andesite with us too. <coughs> Alright, so first off. don't have any coal. God dang it. Uh, don't tell me it followed me. I don't have any coal. That's a surprise. You know, just ignore that there. That didn't happen. Okay. For some reason it was streaming as well. Hope it wasn't on for too long. There's some cobble. Let's put 55 in. We'll keep a bunch of normal cobble. Let's go ahead and start work detailing this down here. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this coal out of the way. And let's expand it a bit. Because I feel that this small... So yeah, I will be right back after I finish expanding this. So that will do us for today. I got a lot done, but yeah, I'm out of time. So see you guys later. Um, I'm sorry for such a long episode, but I really needed to get this done. Um, so I will see you all in the next one. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew